Jan. I'm Tracy, and we are on Atlas Ocean Voyages World Traveler cruise ship. Yeah, we're on the World Traveler. The World Traveler is the fourth of four ships on this very new line. Uh, these are really small uh, expedition ships with only 98 uh, crew cabins for a total, a maximum of about 200 passengers. Although we only have 145 passengers with 118 crews, so that's a pretty good crew to passenger ratio. So these are really nice small ships. So this is not going to take too long to be able to show you our tour. Now below Tracy and I, you're going to see a uh, deck plan and a little dot, which we're going to be uh, just kind of pointing out where we are in the tr on this ship. So let's go show you the World Traveler. Now up here on the eighth deck, we have the observation areas. It has a couple of things available to you. There are four outside exercise machines, and there's also a walking track that will take 12 laps to get a mile. Uh, Bia has been very uh, stormy here, so we haven't had a chance to take advantage of that. But the nice thing is it also looks down into the pool and jacuzzi area. So we're back in the back where the aft of uh, Duck 8, and here you find the helipad right here, but you also find where the Zodiacs are or the rigid inflatable uh, boats or the ribs. The reason is because this actually is an expedition ship. All four of the Atlas uh, ships are uh, uh, expeditionary with trips not only around the Mediterranean, around the British Isles, which we're doing right now, but also up into the Arctic and the Antarctic. Uh, in fact, we will be on the Antarctica on the sister ship, the uh, Navigator in February. Uh, because, uh, because these are expedition ships, these are also class classified as uh, 1B icebreakers. Now, that means that they're not icebreakers on their own, but the hull is actually reinforced to be able to go through 0.6 meters of ice, which is pretty cool. We're now on the seventh deck where we find the pool. Unfortunately, during our cruise, we had cool, rainy weather, so they never opened up the pool bar and grill. Fortunately, the hot tub was open almost every day and it was very warm. Now, the pool didn't open until our last two days. However, we were surprised to find it was heated to at least 90 degrees or so, which was incredibly nice. the nice things about being on an all-inclusive ship and it's such a small ship is they have any time ice cream. Uh, we haven't tried it yet because it is kind of cold but they have chocolate vanilla strawberry and chocolate chip. is one of the two lounges that are on the ship and it's a place that we've actually spent the majority of our time. This is where we have Piano Paul playing every night. It's at the front of the ship on the seventh deck with sweeping views across the ocean. It has a lovely piano and it has a beautiful bar. The wait staff here is wonderful. We've had a really good time spending our time up here. Halfway through our cruise, we stumbled upon this gem of a space. Overlooking the wake of the ship is this comfortable sun deck. But it gets even better. Now one of the neat areas that we found is found on the aft 
dropped to the fifth deck, and this is called the Zephyr Lounge. Not sure if they actually serve drinks out here, but as small as this ship is, it seems like there's a bartender who can find you at any given time and let you have a drink while you're watching the wonderful views off the back of the ship. So what is really nice about the Atlas, there are so many small little places like the Zephyr Lounge, which we just were at uh, at the aft of the ship. There's so many kind of neat places. And this is the another, which is the Water's Edge, which is all the way forward on deck five, uh, right below the uh, bridge. Now we are looking forward to our Antarctica cruise because we're looking forward to being right here as we're going through the icebergs and the beauty, because not just the, just the you know, basically a, the complete view of all the ocean around you, but these seats here they'll go all the way around the bow up here they're all heated and they're nice and toasty all right so now we are almost done it's like i said it's a small ship so now what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the fourth deck and that's where basically everything really happens let's go all right so we're all the way uh, in the front of the ship on uh, the level four or deck four and we are at one of our most favorite places this is the atlas lounge And right uh, to my right, or the bow, is the, uh, uh, the Vasco da Gama uh, Theater. Now, the, usually you find the theater at the front of the ship, as you do here, and, but usually the theater is where you have the entertainment. There's not a lot of entertainment in there, but there are some, this is where they're gonna do uh, their cooking shows, they're going to do their uh, in, enrichment uh, lectures, which are absolutely fantastic. And what is very cool is the day we got onto the ship was two days prior was the first birthday of this ship. It was, a, it was the youngest in the fleet, uh, just launched literally two days and now eight day, uh, one year and eight days ago. Um, what's interesting in there is you actually still have that new car smell with all the leather seats. But right here in the Atlas, this is where all the entertainment really kind of goes on. Uh, they, this is your meeting place for any of your excursions. Uh, this is also where you have your wine tastings and some of the other enrichment places and some of the best bartenders and wait staff you're going to find anywhere. It's a great place to just kind of to relax. What we have here on the fourth deck is a fitness studio, and although it's small, it's pretty comprehensive. It has one of those full body Nautilus machines. It has free weights. It has a sit up area, a place to do your yoga. It also has two treadmills and two bicycles. One of the neat things about this ship is although the dining options are a little bit limited here, you do have Paula's Pantry. It's open from six in the morning until six at night. It serves all different kinds of coffees. There's a great barista here, and it has small snacks and bites and small sandwiches. So it's a great place to grab and go if you have an early morning excursion. On pretty much every ship, this is my favorite part of the ship. This is where your sauna's at. Again, this is an expedition style ship, so everything is smaller. They don't have the thalassic heated chairs, but they do have nice resting area. And inside of the sauna, it's big enough for probably 10 or 12 people and it's co-ed, so that's really nice with great views outside of the ocean. So we are now at Lesboa. Lesboa is the main dining room. It also, you could say, is also the specialty restaurant and it's the buffet. It's all of that because on such a small ship, you only have one dining room outside of room service. Uh, on breakfast and lunch, it provides a la carte and buffet. And then at night, it is a, a, a sit down restaurant. What's also is nice, and unfortunately, because for our weather, we are sailing in, the, in September in the British Isles, uh, we actually have an outdoor area just outside. Let's go see that. 
All right, so as promised, we're in the back here on the aft, the outdoor area outside of Las Boa or the main restaurant. Um, as you can see, it didn't take us very long at all to be able to show you the ship. And by the way, if you want to see our cabin, go on and watch this video as we continue traveling around. And don't forget to watch us as we go to Antarctica. And as always, keep on traveling.